as its name suggests, the Bevel Alpha modifier requires an alpha channel. If your image does not contain alpha, such as a JPEG image, the effect will only be visible at the edges of the image. Let's start by inspecting the thickness parameter. Its purpose is to define the width of the rounding effect, simulating a relief according to the alpha channel. Increasing the thickness value creates a 3D effect simulating volume. Edge precision defines the number of accumulated images that simulate this volume effect. By setting this value to 1, we see how the Beaver Alpha is computed. The original image is duplicated, darkened and lightened, and shifted in opposite direction. Darkening and lightening are defined by two colors, which we'll analyze later. Thickness determines the distance covered by these duplicates, and edge precision defines how many copies will accumulate on top of each other. Depending on the values, you can define fine and sharp angles, or wide and rounded ones. For now, we have the illusion that the lights come from the top left corner, but the angle parameters let you rotate this light around your layer. Depending on the angle, you can give the feeling that the layer is lit from above or from below. This 3D effect is simulated by two colors, shadow color and light color. These colors are defined by four components, including an alpha value. This fourth value is used to define the influence of darkening or lightening by reducing or increasing it. Note that it is possible to push this alpha value above 1 to enhance the effect of the modifier. These two colors can be modified freely by choosing, for example, a violet color on one side and a blue color on the other. Increasing the thickness value often requires you to adjust the edge precision value at the same time. A value that is too low will generate stripes rather than a continuous gradient. By tweaking the parameters, you can give the illusion that a color shadow has been inserted into the silhouette of your layer. Let's reset the shadow color value to 0, set the alpha to 1, and reduce the alpha to 0 for the light color to make it completely disappear. As the darkening is cut by the original alpha, the effect is similar to that produced by the drop shadow modifier, which has an option to simulate an internal shadow.